Yeah, I think we got it perfect. So we should have money now to get some more units. Oh, those are the new guys. Yo, right, everybody, we are here today checking out a base the little banger by the name of Girls Defense. Now, how based are we talking about here, Falcon? Well, so based that it's no longer available on Steam. That's right, it sticks! What Girls Defense, though, is, is actually a tower defense type of game where you are leading the last survivors against a zombie invasion. A zombie invasion has apparently infected every man on the planet. A world where only men have become extinct due to the effects of radiation in a past war. Which war? It's a past one. The women who were left through lived tough lives without the men. However, this age of peace was not to last. <laughs> I like how the game re refers to an age with no men as uh, an age of peace. The men who were supposed to be extinct turned into zombies. Zombies attacked the women, and the attacked women themselves turned into zombies, so everybody's turning into a zombie. Then the town became ruled by zombies. Which town? I don't know, a town. However, the women did not just suck it up. <laughs> Interesting choice of words. They formed an army to resist the zombies. Okay, so after that lovely introduction, it's time for us to get to it. Story mode. It is. We have a shop that's locked right now and missions, so I guess we can maybe redo story missions or something. We can't hold back, Cannon. Wow. Lone wolf, huh? Become number one. So we have a little bit of a rivalry here with Tyr and Cannon, huh? So essentially, we want to keep them out of the defense point as our tutorial here. Um, essentially, this is going to be like, you know, replicating what it would be like in a town once we start actually defending towns and they actually enter towns and invade. But we want to keep them out of here, technically speaking, right? Yeah, I know. I, get out of here. So, right now we could put up up to 10 units based on 5,000 and all these units obviously cost different. They can't go all the way up here, so basically from this point down we could set them up, right? So I'm going to do one right there. The Grenadier behind. You, you protect the Grenadier. And we'll have... That. You could probably slip one in through there. Start battle. So, then we actually get to help them out too at the same time. So we got zombies approaching through there and through there. They have a longer route here. We're a lot closer to the action over in this side. So I'm going to show you here and see about giving you guys a hand. Assuming you even need a hand. Let's see how they do on their own. That could blad. Three blats, apparently. So those are the grenades right there. Oh, that's doing nice number on them. So five left. Three left. So left side has already been taken care of. And so is the right side. Oh, I'm so good. I'm so good. Oh, good job, Falcon. You beat the tutorial. You did nothing, that was all me. Damn right I did. Yeah, if everyone was to cooperate here. After that, Tear was allocated to a different squadron. Hmm. Interesting. A few days later, there was news that zombies had invaded the town, and Cannon went there under instruction by Cindergard. Well, no more tutorialized. It is. So, this one's gonna have 50 zombies. Defense up to wave 3 and 3 different waves, huh? Alright, so now we're defending through here. 
Now, how far to the left can we go? Good question. I wonder if I could also use these barrels as, like, you know, deterrence. This is as far as we can go through here, huh? So, vehicle, barrel, vehicle, barrel, and defense point. I mean, it seems I have to actually go around them, so we can probably use these as deterrence after all. Perfect. Uh, let's see. We have the same amount of money and units. So, I'm gonna go with the same loadout, because I felt like it worked out for me last time. It worked out quite well, as a matter of fact. Um, I'm gonna put you behind here. And I think you'll be safe there for the most part. And then we'll have... You through there. And you through here. And do we have one up front, you're asking? No, it's sure. I mean, we technically went five, right? We did. So... We're a lot closer here than we are over there, it feels like. Enemies 12. Oh, that's a lot of them. And theoretically speaking, I could load up one side with a lot more units and just kind of handle like one side with maybe a few backups by myself. By the looks of it. This left hand over there is doing fairly good on their own. I'm not even shooting right now because I want to see how effective they are on their own. Before I get involved myself. Yeah, it feels like over here it's going pretty well. Let's see what left hand. Oh, left hand's almost done. Oh, we did amazing. Okay, so wave one went pretty well, I would say. And we got a little bit extra funds. However, we're tapped out when it comes to units, but our units didn't even take any damage for the most part, I would say, right? Nah, I think we're all golden. Start it again. Assuming they can even get close enough. Doesn't feel like it's gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. They they they, they apparently completely cock blocked my my special attempt, is what they've done. Shopping mall time, huh? Cannon was instructed by Colonel Cinder Guard to go to the shopping mall. However, the parking lot for the mall was already overflowing with zombies and people were being attacked. It's no good. Oof. So, uh, next mission, we're being introduced to the doggo. Don't you dare. Alright, um, let's see. Mission Endurance into Restricted Time. Oh. Oh, so there's no defense point here. We just gotta survive long enough. Okay. Do you still have, like, a limit how far I can place you? Yes. But there's no guard spot. Now, can we buy new units, I wonder? Yes. Yes, we can. And we can level up our existing units, too. So we have snipers, flamethrower, a garrison pushes back the advancing enemy by one character. Uh, I guess one spot, maybe? Grenadier. Satellite Kimban who raises enemies with the attackers from the sky. From the sky. I wanted to get a machine gun if I could. Because if I'm thinking doggles, they might be a bit faster. So I'm going to pick up you. Now, the downside is that the machine gunner costs me a little bit of money to purchase and to also put down it. The cost is 900. Whereas in comparison, our Grenadier is 460 and our Gunner is 520. So, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, not sure that was the correct choice, at least for now, but whatever, we'll, we'll see how it rolls. Uh, let's go through here, and let's put her down. So, you do have three coverage, so that's actually kind of good. Maybe one of you alone could do a little bit better than just the regular gun person that we have ourselves, so. Let's place you like that. And I really don't have to kind of go back for that, but all right, we'll have you as well. And it'll be a f 900. Oof. Oh, uh, man. No, you know what? It's going to be a little too cost. So we got to go with you instead. Don't have enough. Well, I guess I'm hanging out here and they're going to take it solo over there. Here should be the dog. Faster than the regular Zambonis. 
Got a little bit close, I'll be honest with you. Got a little bit close, but they took care of him. Yeah, over here, I think they'll be fine. Oh, this guy got through. Why'd you let him through, you ding dunks? So yeah, we have to definitely chill over here. Right hand side is being overrun. My special's ready though. Yeah! Right at the buzzer. Okay. So yeah, we have to now do the defense point after we're done here. But we do have a little bit more money now, which is a good thing, so... It did cost us for the last mission to buy the, uh... <laughs> the machine gun, but... At least now we have some more money so we can put down a few. So we're looking for three waves, 40 zombies, 20 doggos, and I have no idea what the hell that is right there. You cost money, but that's fine. We actually got money this time. So... Protect through there. And... Through there. And put you possibly in the middle. And that was roughly 3,000-ish. That. And I technically, I'm not going to get involved here right now because I want to see how they do on their own. The dogs seem to over... The dogs don't seem to be affected by the Grenadiers because it takes a while for that to actually get there. And they're too fast. So the Grenadiers are definitely, I mean, we got the machine guns for the for the doggos, so I think that works out great for them. Whereas the Grenadiers are definitely better for the slower zombies. Yeah, I think we got it perfect. So we should have money now to get some more units. Oh, those are the new guys. What the hell? Well, I'm not sure what happened to that one. It seems like it went off the map and then fell off or something. <laughs> well, 8,000 is what we got, and we took... No damage, I would say. Alright, let's pick up... Sniper? Flamethrower. Yeah, flamethrower sounds kind of good to me. You do the, you're you the one that pushes back, right? Maybe for the endurance ones, it could actually be kind of good. No, I'll pick you up. So we're basically getting three waves of the same amount of units, right? So, I mean, considering how well we did the first time around, then I don't think I have to worry too much about it. I do want to see them slime boys, so... No, oh, there he is. Oh, wow, that one's huge. But it's slow, so it definitely gets destroyed by the grenades. I'm kind of curious, like, do they show up as smalls or... Oh, they, they turn small after the big version is blown up? Military Academy. It's surprisingly kind of fun. I'm not sure why they got removed as well, like, uh... No clue? No clue at all? Okay, so for this one, we're looking at 50 zombies, 30 doggos, and... Ooh, is it a bug? Might be a flying insect. So we might need units that actually... Aim up. So I'm thinking the sniper and our current grenadier might be best for this, and we might also maybe want to pick up this satellite combatant. See if that works how I expected to. Kind of curious if maybe having a defender here would be nice for some of these. So let's put up a defender there. Satelliter. Drop an explosive. I know the attack comes from above, but that is, that's not as far as it goes, correct? <laughs> because, I mean, literally get in front of me? Okay, I guess we'll put her there just to kind of experiment, because I'm not really sure that one's going to play out. And sniper. Okay. Sniper. From above and all that jazz. Uh, let's do... That. That. And grenade. That's five units already. Oof. I feel like we're more protected in the right than the left, so I should probably go over there. How does the satellite work? Here are the flyers. Oh, they got through with the left-hand side. They got through on the left. 
I'm going there. Okay, left right hand seems to be fine, it's left hand that's suffering. But they're done. These machine gunners aren't doing much, huh? <laughs> like at all. You guys uh, ever gonna shoot? Seems to be the sniper obby, so let's see. Interesting. The enemies have to be really close to the machine gunner, it seems. Like very, very close. That being said, I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed it at the very least. Surprising little decent tower defense-esque game. Now, for what did not make the old cut here on YouTube, the, the goods, the extras, I'll have that up on the old Patreon, so definitely go check that in case you'd like to see what didn't make the cut here. I have a little special video up there for you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>